You're not going to want to miss this episode of the AI show where we talk about a brand new component of the computer vision service called spatial analysis. It's very timely. It's very needed. Make sure you tune in. Hello and welcome to this episode of the AI show where we're going to look at a brand new service inside of the computer vision service called spatial analysis. We've got a special guest with us today. Hello, my friend. Why don't you tell us who you are and what you do? Hi there. Uh, my name is Adina Tufinescu. I'm a program manager. I'm working on computer vision, uh, which is an Azure cognitive service. And I'm here to talk about spatial analysis. Super exciting. Awesome. So why don't you give us a rundown of what it actually does? What's the purpose of the service? Yeah, so um, let me tell you, uh, first I want to tell you about computer vision, which the existing services for computer vision are image-based. Basically, you pass an image in, uh, the AI is running, and it's giving you a result. A special analysis is a new feature of the computer vision uh, service, and uh, it is actually video-based. So we run computer vision AI on video streams. They can be live video streams, or they can be recorded video streams. And then there are actually three use cases uh, or uh, scenarios, main scenarios that we are looking at. The first one is people counting, uh, which enables you to count people in a video. Uh, and then this is mainly used for scenarios such as maximum occupancy or when people shouldn't be in a certain area, this is how you can monitor for uh, safety scenarios. Uh, the second one is social distancing. We actually call it social distancing because this is what resonates with people. Uh, the actual operation name in the document Documentation is person distance, uh, where we actually count the people in the video stream and we detect when people are either too close or too far. And the too close scenario is the interesting one for social distancing. And then the third one is the entry and exit in physical spaces. So imagine that you have a camera and in the field of view, uh, you want to monitor a certain area in the physical space and you designate that area with a polygon or with a line. And we are giving you events when a person is crossing in or out the polygon or a person is crossing uh, the line and the line is directional, so this way you can tell when the person entered or exited the space. So this is really cool. I mean, those three scenarios seem pretty basic. What are some good use case scenarios for a business to use these? I know you mentioned them briefly, but maybe you can elaborate a little bit more on that. So there are many industries and use cases, but the ones that we are focusing on based on the input from customers are uh, retail, manufacturing, and real estate management. So for retail, uh, retailers, they want to know where people move through the store. They want to know where people spend time in front of a, uh, of a display or how long they wait at the checkout stand, the checkout, uh, the, the, the place where they check out and buy things, right, in the queue. Um, so uh, based on this information, they are looking to understand how to modify the store layout or more recently how to um, uh, help people uh, uh, apply social distance. So retail is a big industry. Our own Dynamics Connected store uh, have already a SaaS application which is using spatial analysis. So this, this works. We know that it works for retail. Uh, when our developers want to build their own business logic, which is more uh, you know, custom to the needs of their customers, they can use spatial analysis for retail. In manufacturing, plants, they have like all these areas where uh, it's not safe for people to actually be in, right? So basically, this is where uh, with the camera and the video stream, they can monitor when people pass into a certain zone, which they call forbidden zone. And basically, they can notify and alert the safety personnel or the people actually involved, the employees involved. And then by saving this data over time, they can actually create reports and meaningful information that they uh, it helps them um, uh, create like guidance for safety of their employees. And then the last one is uh, retail, um, uh, sorry, the last one is real estate management. So uh, especially with the back to work situation, uh, companies are looking to be agile and to figure out like how do they help their employees stay healthy and stay safe. So this is where social distancing uh, comes into place and also maximum occupancy. So this way, where this is where um, uh, companies are looking at solutions to figure out like the number of people is actually constrained to something that is actually healthy and safe. So here's a here's a question because obviously you're taking video of people. How do you manage privacy concerns? Oh, so that's that's a very important one, and there are two angles to look at it. First of all, is the technology angle. 
Um, so um, spatial analysis, it's a uh, Docker container. It runs at the edge. And our customers, they want control over the data and they want the data to stay within their premises. Uh, and they also um, need, uh, they want to make sure that the network workloads in terms of like uh, video leaving their premises uh, is something that they control. So this is where we started with spatial analysis as the Docker container. You know, like most of Azure services, they start with an Azure service in the cloud and then it moves as a container. Because of this customer input where they're really concerned about like having control over the video data and then uh, uh, meeting the privacy requirements, we decided to start with spatial analysis at the edge uh, with a Docker container. So that's the first aspect. The, set the second aspect is the responsible AI uh, aspect. So when we release this, this technology into, into the world, we just don't put it out there. Uh, we actually release responsible AI guidance. Uh, so this is guidance which is based on user research and societal research, where we work with our customer uh, in part private preview uh, to collect their input, to look at the use cases. And basically we came up with a set of guidance of what represents responsible uh, use of this AI. Uh, and then basically what we hope to achieve is that our developers can build these business applications and use special analysis while upholding the dignity uh, of the people involved, of the end users uh, involved uh, with this technology. So this is all really cool, but I feel like I want to see get a taste for how it works. Can we do that? Absolutely. Let's go for it. What you see here is a video uh, in a space that mimics a retail space. And then uh, you can see the people are being detected. And this is the people counting operation. So the, the, the people count here is six. It doesn't change because we have like six people at the same time. And notice here like there's a trail behind each person. Um, uh, this is to show that uh, the person is being actually detected uh, across multiple frames. Uh, this one runs at 15 frames per second. Um, so this is like in a nutshell, like counting people. In this case, we do not have a zone designated. We are counting the people in the whole frame. So moving on, let me show you social distancing. So uh, this is the same camera feed uh, from the same location. And notice here that we detect people and then we measure the distance between people. So to actually uh, measure the physical distance between people, the cameras, they have to be calibrated to the ground floor. And this way, the measurement between people uh, is actually accurate and uh, relevant in the physical space. Uh, and then um, the last thing I'm going to say here is that uh, we provide the information whether the people are too close or, or too far, and then you decide in your business application uh, how to react to that information. And then the last one is entry exit. So this one is another retail space. And notice here we have a, an area, a zone in blue, and that zone is an imaginary one, and it, it is being drawn using a frame that you collect from the camera. And then you draw that zone, in this case, around the area where people wait at the checkout stand. And then notice there that there is a time that the person is waiting in line. So the way we achieve that is actually when the person enters into the zone, we have the timestamp of that event. And then uh, when the person leaves the zone, we have another timestamp. So this way we are able to calculate the people that, the, the sorry, the, the time that people uh, wait in line. So this is like another use case for entry exit. I do not have one for line. Uh, but hopefully this gives you like a good idea of these uh, operations. So this is amazing. How how is this actually? How do you, as a as a software person or as a, someone that wants to implement this, how is this implemented in Azure, for example? Absolutely. So let's go to the Azure portal. So what I have here is an IoT Hub service, uh, an instance in Azure that we set up. Because to deploy the spatial analysis container, you need Azure IoT Hub and you need an Azure I IoT Edge device. So the devices that, su that we support, they require uh, to have an NVIDIA T4 GPU. And we recommend uh, to use Azure Stack Edge with GPU, or you can use your own device as long as it has a GPU. So the Edge device shows up here. Uh, it's already pre-configured and connected to this IoT Hub. And what I want to show you here is the spatial analysis contain, uh, container, which is being deployed as an Azure IoT Hub. So I'm going to go there. 
And in the module identity twin, we pass actually the configuration for the operation. So let me scroll here and I can show you here like this configuration, you can see the operation ID. In this case, it's spatial analysis person count. And you can see the video URL that is being processed. In this case, it's a pre-recorded URL. You can see the GPU index on which you are running. So that's why I mentioned that you need a machine with a GPU because of the computational needs of the AI model. And then if the machine has like more than one GPU, you have to load balance the, the cameras across the GPUs to not overload like a single GPU. Um, and then last but not least, the zone configuration, there is this JSON packed in here neatly where you see the polygon, and then uh, you can see here that the type of event that you require is person count. And you can also give us a threshold telling us that if the AI confidence is not high enough, just discard the event. And then just to show you like a simple web application that is receiving the person count event, which shows here like in real time, like the number of people in the video going between, in this case, between zero and two people. Well, this is actually really cool and it's, actually really timely. Are there customers that are using it right now? Uh, yes, we are working with NEC, a company in India who is working to create a pandemic compliance solution using these exact skills. Uh, and basically they are looking at deploying this in their office spaces to help uh, with obviously like the pandemic compliance. Um, and then we have like a bunch of other customers in the real estate management. Uh, and then last but not least, I've already mentioned about Dynamics Connected Store and their own customers, retailers. Well, where can people go to find out more? Oh, go to aks.ms uh, spatial analysis. Uh, the container is published on Microsoft Container Registry. Anybody can get it. Uh, the access to the container functionality is gated, meaning that uh, we need your information to give you access to the functionality. This goes back to the responsible AI consider considerations. We want to learn about use cases. We want to make sure that the use cases follow the responsible AI guidance. And then once uh, we approve the use case, we'll be in contact with you and then you'll uh, take it from there and use the technology. Well, awesome. Thank you so much for spending some time with us. And for those that are watching, thank you so much for watching. We'll be learning all about spatial analysis, a new service inside of computer vision, all on the AI show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care.